Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Fat Crypto, and today I'm going to be talking about why I can't stop buying Elrond. Now, if you're interested in buying Elrond, uh, uh, or you um, you can use the Meyer app. Uh, it's an application on the phone which allows you to uh, buy Elrond, Binance as well, and also Ethereum. Uh, super easy. You can send funds from one person to another to anyone around the world. Uh, uh, as easy as it is to send a text message. Uh, if you if you would like to, I definitely recommend checking this app out. It's amazing. Um, and I've got a referral ID. I'll, there's a link you will see in the description. Um, helps me out. Help yourself out. I've also got a Binance link down there. Uh, if you if you want to buy some cryptocurrency off Binance, feel free to use my link. I get 10% of the commission they take and you get the 10% as well. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be talking about why I can't stop buying Elrond. Because I can't. This project is, in my opinion, so amazing. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And I just can't stop buying Elrond. Um, as you can see, Bitcoin, it dumped yesterday um, uh, on the 18th of April. Found support off this line. Um, and then yet again, found support off this line. Also coinciding with my uh, buy zone. Right now, we have broken above... This particular uh, support, um, which was a resistance, um, as you can see, we found some resistance in this area, and now we seem to be re retesting this as a support. Hopefully, it holds and we can start moving up. But like I said, this this has had a detrimental effect on uh, the altcoins, and Elrond suffered. But this is really good when Bitcoin does this. this is for for me personally, really good buying opportunities um, in the altcoins that I'm watching. And you can see it bounced, um, it closed perfectly in my buy zone. In this case, Bitcoin carried on dumping. We found some uh, support here, but we closed just below, but now we're bouncing back up. So technicals are, you know, obviously it doesn't look great, but this is just Bitcoin price action. We found support within this region and now we're on our way back up. And this is now a resistance. So between $180 and $185, we've now got a resistance. If you want me to quickly go over the buy zones, um, I've got one buy zone at 159 to uh, 165. It's where I loaded up. I loaded up in here yesterday and today. Um, I've got my next buy zone between 130 to 133. As you can see, a lot of price action within this region acted as a very strong support on numerous occasions and acted as a resistance in some occasions as well. My uh, third buy zone is between one one eight and one two three dollars. Yeah, again, lot of support, lot of support, lot of support. Um, and finally, this buy zone, if it reaches, I've got it from sixty four dollars to uh, hundred. As you can see, when it does drop into this zone, instantly bought up. Wick, wick, instantly bought up. So, in terms of resistances, we we've now got this as a potential resistance one eighty to one eight four dollars. Then the next resistance is between 193 and uh, around $200. As you can see, resistance, 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 uh, also acted as a support. And then the final resistance here is uh, 207 to 217. And obviously between around 231 and uh, 245, coinciding with the previous all-time high, will also be a strong resistance. Now let's go into some of the fundamental reasons I'm buying um, truckloads of Elrond. So 5.5 million e-commerce websites and all Twitch streamers can accept e-goal payments and donations via now payments. This can happen right now, okay? This is insane. So it's estimated that the global e-commerce market will grow to about $113 billion in 2024. The most popular payment methods um, are digital wallets, which make up more than 40% of the payment methods. This is expected to grow to 50% by 2023. Digital payments are preferred because it's easy to integrate and convenient to use. And through the use of blockchain te technology, we could be able to make it a lot more efficient, decrease the costs and the time required for actual settlement. So, you know, everyone uses di di these digital payments. Through blockchain, we can make it faster, cheaper and easier effectively. So this is what like I'd, I'd like to stress. You can right now you can start using eGold for these payments. Millions of e-commerce websites can start accepting eGold payments through now payments. That's amazing, right? 
These this can be done right now. E-gold is really becoming it's got so much use case right now. It's amazing. So now payments allows any website to accept cryptocurrency payments by integrating their plugin into the most popular e-commerce platforms such as Shopify and WooCommerce. Twitch streamers can start accepting e-gold donations via now payments by simply registering an account and adding the dedicated widget to their Twitch profile. The integration is live and e-gold payments can be integrated immediately. The collabor collaboration will further focus on making other tokens issued on Elrond Network available as payment methods through now, pay uh, now payments. Now, we spoke about the MEX uh, token. If you haven't checked the video about I, yesterday, I made a video on why I'm, I'm buying more Elrond. Um, it, it will come up here. here. Um, and I was, I was talking about the Myra exchange and the MEX token. So if you hold Eagle token, you get free MEX token. Now, I'm going to talk about the next token in a second, but these tokens that, that effectively Elrond users are getting for free can also be used as payment methods. That's like ridiculous. I'm seeing so much utility with this Elrond token and there's, there just seems to be so much benefit by holding Elrond. Now, I'd just like to highlight this, um, this comment made by Jenna Cash who says, we are excited about the high speed and low cost of Elrond transactions. They enable our partners to get an awesome experience when opting for e-gold payments. We're looking forward to adding this kind of convenience to even more assets on the Elrond network. So people are starting to realize the performance benefits of Elrond, how quick it is, how versatile it is, how cheap it is. More and more companies, more and more institutions will start to realize okay elrond is it means business there's so much benefit to using elrond that's what i think that's my personal belief the fact that you can sh shop on millions of e-commerce sites using elrond is uh, there's so much use case right now your twitch streamers all it takes is one big twitch streamer to go yeah i accept elrond that's it People will be like, oh, what's Elrond? What's Elrond? Uh, what, what? Oh, oh, okay, Th this is cool. Let's buy in some... And all these, even though it might be people that don't know much about the technology and whatnot, they're still consumers that are buying into Elrond. They're buy They're taking circulate uh, supply, whether it's to be donate to someone or whoever it might be, or to buy off these e-commerce sites. That's supply, that, that's people buying in. And when millions and millions of people are doing this around the world, People who are holding Elrond, surely that value is just going to keep going up. That's the way I see it. In my personal opinion, with everything that Elrond are doing, with the, the versatility, the performance, I can see this, it, This, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. This is my personal opinion. I think this is my second chance at Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin was at these prices one point. Bitcoin was hovering around $175, right? It's got a similar circulating supply. The tokenomics match up quite similarly. And with the fact that this has so much use case, I think it's amazing. I think this five, 10 years time, we could be, I wouldn't be surprised at all to see this at Bitcoin, where Bitcoin is at right now. So the next thing, the launch pad, right? Maya launch pad, ambitious teams, powerful technologies and global communities. So technology is a powerful force for good. It enables us to solve hard problems, improve society and achieve more with less. It provides us with the tools to reimagine our world. I mentioned that because engines revolutionized the world. Then electricity. Then the internet came out. Now it's the blockchain. And I, I thoroughly believe the blockchain is the next crazy thing that is people. And I, I still think we're early to it. I still think we're so early. So permissionless innovation and rapid open source iteration. Ideas originating anywhere in the world can get support from anyone. I highlighted these two points, right? Anywhere in the world, support from anyone through blockchain technology. Hardcore teams can build permissionless and open source products via decentralized funding. This is how Elrond was built. And we believe this is how the next Amazons and Googles will be built one smart contract at a time. So right now, um, uh, many people who have great ideas, great um, 
um, have what it takes to build some of the greatest projects, they don't really have an effective means of getting funding, getting the support that they require. Now, Elrond plans to create their own launch pad, which I'm going to talk about in more detail in a sec, so that anyone, this Maya launch pad, it will connect the entire world and they can see these new projects that are coming through and be able to donate, provide support and allow these small projects to grow, grow and become the next big thing. Okay? Ideas, products, distribution. Brilliant insights and are clearly laid out visions will secure most teams their funding, but the path from idea to product cannot stop there. Even the most hardcore teams struggle with hard problems. It is not technical or product problems that kill most startups, but rather distribution. Finding the right communication channels, building a diehard community and tapping into sustainable ecosystems. So these are the struggles that most of these startups will face. And what Elrond are trying to do to combat this is introduce the Maya Launchpad. So what is the Maya Launchpad? Now they are calling it the ultimate catalyst for new technologies and unique products built with Elrond tech. Now we already have established how many times how Elrond tech is the premium, the creme de la creme of technology, right? 100,000 transactions per second, um, 216,000 transactions per second met, uh, clocked on the test net, uh, 0 0.001 cent transaction costs, right? That's amazing. So building a launch pad on such a premium network is fantastic in my opinion. Projects debuting on the Maya Launchpad will tap into decentralized funding from the platform and will be introduced to our global and passionate community partners and investors along with the broader Elrond ecosystem. So this is, this is going to give you flashback from what I said yesterday. They're handing this out. They're, they're, this, they want to... The people who are loyal to Elrond, the people holding this ego token, right? The people who are already part of the ecosystem... They're going to benefit from this. Every month, we will focus our creative energy on the most impactful projects, offering direct support, feedback, and challenging them to take things to the next level. So not only are they um, providing this launch pad, which will allow individuals to generate the funding they require, they're going to actively help them. They're going to pr find um, some of the most impactful projects, like they said, the ones they, that, that have grown, that have got serious potential, and actually give them what they what like the assistance and direct them in how to how to grow then they're generally these guys are they're a bunch of rocket scientists with the biggest hearts the things that they're trying to do they're trying to revolution the revolutionize the world they're trying to help so many people and i love that i love the team behind this i love the way that they're trying to help they're trying to it's not just about making money they're trying to do things to make the world a better place right that's the way i see it so, what the, the MPAD token. The Maya Launchpad is the ultimate catalyst for blockchain adoption, adding a, se a second significant growth engine for the Elrond ecosystem that will reinforce the fundamentals for the next Elrond super cycle. Yeah, so we've got the, they've now, they've, we've got the ESDT tokens, we've got the NFTs, we've got the SFTs. If you haven't seen my previous video, check that out. And we've got the Maya Exchange. Now we've got the Maya Launchpad. This, Elrond are doing everything, everything. They're doing everything, right? Like, oh yeah, we can go to, okay, we'll go to Uniswap for a decentralized exchange. Oh, we go to uh, um, uh, Polkastar, oh, look at these new projects. Elrond are doing everything, right? That's the way I'm seeing it. So to ensure that anyone anywhere has a fair widespread access to important technologies and startups coming on Elrond, the Maya Launchpad will be fueled by the MPAD token, right? The MPAD token will be the second Elrond ecosystem token bringing some of the most ambitious blockchain projects in the world to the Elrond ecosystem and community. So these projects that, you know, will start up, they're going to be built on the, one of the fastest networks, one of the cheapest networks, and get the funding. You see, you, are you starting to see how this whole ecosystem is beginning to grow and work and help each other, right? And the fact that it's on this super quick and cheap layer one protocol is what makes this all the more exciting. The Elrond community is hardcore and fought alongside the Elrond team through all the obstacles we have overcome 
to reach the crit this critical moment. It is this remarkable and growing community that will give Maya Launchpad its power, okay? Through a wide distribution model, all e-gold holders will be able to claim a fair share of its supply. So like with the MEX token, we're gonna be getting some MPAD tokens. Let's go. I'm actually so excited for this. Like, you're able to get, like imagine, the way I see it, imagine if you, ha uh, if you had ETH Ethereum, right? You're holding Ethereum. Imagine because you're holding Ethereum, you're getting free Uniswap tokens, right? You're getting some Launchpad tokens with the respective Launchpads. This is what it is. It literally, by holding Elrond, you're able to get their exchange token for free. You're able to get their Launchpad token for free just by holding it. That's what I'm seeing. And, I'm, I, and it's the way they're giving to the community is what makes the community so much more loyal. Hence why 60% of all Elrond is staked, right? That's so high. That's out of circulation right now. That's staked away. Earning passive interest. Like some of these uh, staking platforms, I'm earning 20%. I've got pretty much all of my Elrond staked. 20, around 20% APY collecting daily. It's, uh, uh, it, it almost seems too good to be true. Um, so th they say the precise details of the MPAD tokens and distribution will be shared in the next two weeks, amplifying the outreach, exposure and contribution to the Elrond economy. The time to build is now. Elrond, the internet scale blockchain is live. This is what I was saying in the last video. It's live, it's, it's, it's right now, right? Developers are already building on it. That's what I said yesterday. Decentralized applications are already being built on the Elrond, block, Elrond block, blockchain. ESDTs, NFTs, SFTs, and the Maya exchange are ready right now. The Maya launchpad will be a supercharged growth engine, opening a new adoption path for unique and powerful products looking for, to leverage the full scope of the Elrond technology and ecosystem. The first startup is about to be announced in two weeks. So this is their launch pad. Obviously we we don't know um, anything yet, <laughs> but it's within two weeks as well. This says the first project will be unveiled in April. So we're gonna find out soon what's gonna happen. And so you can get, we're gonna get MPAD tokens at some point, right? In the future, the near future. Right now the first snapshots have gone live for the Maya exchange tokens, right? As in, these snapshots are basically, think of them as a, a, as a, a snapshot of current e-gold balances. These are random, they happen over a week, and they collect basically all this information about how much e-gold is in, uh, in all the balances and all the wallet addresses, uh, how much is staked, how much is not staked, and then people will be able to claim um, MEX tokens in the first half of May. We obviously, we don't know a date exactly, but within the first half of May, we'll be able to collect our MEX tokens according to how much we've been holding on a weekly basis, okay? The same is gonna happen with Maya Launchpad. So I'm seeing so much benefit in holding the Eagle token personally, and I'm seeing, that's why every time there's a little dip, yeah, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying, I'm buying. I, I can't stop myself. I'm not a financial advisor. Please don't take this as financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. But I genuinely believe myself that this could be my second chance at Bitcoin. Hence why I'm loading, I'm loading this up. There was people back in the day who looked at Bitcoin and they're like, I know this is gonna become huge. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I, I'm pretty sure Obviously, I don't know, you can never know anything with certainty, but I'm pretty sure with the way things are going, with the team that's behind this project, with what they're trying to achieve, the dynamic and the narrative behind this project, right? The narrative being helping, helping people, helping um, bank the unbanked world, helping individuals who have these brilliant ideas to get the funding and the assistance to make it to the top. It's almost like they're Robin Hood out here. Um, and I'm, I'm buying every dip that's gonna come. And this will also be one of the uh, platforms that I, platforms, one of the cryptos, uh, cryptocurrencies that I 
take profits in from other coins. Obviously, always have a diversified profile, but I'm going to be trying to load up as much Elrond on as possible. That's my personal strategy, but it might be terrible. That's what I'm doing. I'm not a financial advisor. Like I said, this channel is what sharing what I'm doing and reasons for why I'm doing them. So yeah, it's been your boy, Fat Crypto. I hope you enjoyed that video. I know I've been spamming Elrond a little bit, but I love Elrond. And uh, please, if you if you want to get the Maya app, do check it out. Be, uh, be sure to use my, um, my link down in the description. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.